Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Morris. I'm a family nurse practitioner from the University of Nebraska Medical Center. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about influenza. There's a few things that we can do to help our patients with influenza this time of the year. Education is very important with our patients. It helps to keep them from coming in unnecessarily, but also it helps from complications. It's important to educate patients on fever control, on symptom control, and when to come in to see their primary care provider. If they've had symptoms less than 48 hours, they may be a candidate for an antiviral, which can help decrease the course of their illness. Also, if a patient is pregnant, under the age of two, elderly, or has multiple diseases, it's very important for them to be seen and perhaps get started on an antiviral. For patients whose symptoms are mild or who call you and they've had the illness over 48 hours, then it's a good idea just to recommend supportive care. Supportive care is fluids, rest, anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, Motrin, cough and cold medications within reason. It's also important to try and educate our patients a little bit ahead of time. This year we really fell down on our immunizations, and I think it's because last year we had such a mild year because everybody got immunized, that this year people just didn't get their immunizations, and maybe sometimes we didn't push it as much as we should have. So we saw this huge influx. So keep in mind, if a family member presents to you and they're positive for influenza, you may need to evaluate that family and see if the remainder of the family needs to be treated prophylactically with an antiviral to prevent them from getting Ill, especially if they have young children or someone with a chronic illness. The other important takeaway message from this very bad flu season we've had so far, we have to be proactive next year, really push the immunizations. There is still vaccine available yet this year. If you have people who present that need to be immunized, by all, all means get them immunized. I think another important misnomer is people actually think when they get the shot the same day that they're actually immunized and protected against the influenza. When in reality, it takes about two weeks for it to take effect. So in retrospect, it's really important for us to look forward to next year and make sure we get our patients immunized and that we really push these immunizations with our patients and their families so that next year our flu season will not be as severe as this year.